today I've got a very exciting video for you. Tesla phoned me up and they've let me borrow the brand new Tesla Model 3 Highland so I can review it for you. In this video I'm going to do a quick first impressions and walk through and over the next few days I'll review the car and that video should be up in the next week or so. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so I'm in the car for the first time. Kirsty just showed me around, so a big thank you to Kirsty for showing me the new car. Uh, I've got to say, straight away, the interior is loads better. It's really, really nice. It's a lot quieter. You can even tell just by sitting in the car without it moving straight away, it's a lot, lot more quieter because of the 360 uh, sort of double glazed windows that we have now. The interior just feels instantly first impressions just feels super high quality. I think the problem with uh, the current Tesla Model 3 that I have is that I really like the simplistic look of the car, but it does feel a little bit cheap in areas. They've upgraded all of the materials within the cabin. So even things like the steering wheel, I'm sure it's probably the same teal, but it's just feels a little bit tighter. The steering wheel looks nicer. There's a different kind of texture here on the door that looks really, really good. The front dash has changed um, in the black version before we had that kind of wood trim that I wasn't a big fan of. They've now changed it for this kind of gray material, which I think looks really, really nice. It's still the same design aesthetic. I mean, the, uh, the car kind of looks roughly the same, but it's just all been updated all the way through. We now have ventilated seats in the car. I can already feel it doing its job right here. So it's kind of uh, pretty cool. This is gonna be great if uh, you're in hot weather or cold weather situations. But I think what we need to do is put the camera up and let's go for a little test drive. Oh, and by the way, while I've been setting the car up, the screen is much, much more responsive than before. Uh, I have the 2021 Tesla Model 3, so I know they did update it a couple of years back as well, but it's just, yeah, a lot more responsive. The maps, everything just seems to load. The tiles of the maps load a lot faster. The display feels a little bit brighter as well. I don't know if it is the case, but it, it feels a bit brighter. The bezel is a tiny bit smaller, but even though it is only slightly smaller, it does make it look a lot more modern. I think the closer we can get to a bezel-less Tesla screen, the more modern it's gonna look and, and they've done a fantastic job here, first impressions. Okay, so let's go for our first drive in this brand new Tesla Model 3. I'll give you my first impressions as we're driving. So the first thing you'll notice when you first get into this car, just like when they first get into the first Tesla is there's no gear stick, but in this car, the stalks are gone as well. So this is the first thing I'm a little bit worried about actually because I'm so used to in every single car I've ever had, having that indicator stalk there uh, there's no gears here either, but what happens here on the screen is that you hold the brake down and then you can see it says uh, press to drive or you can swipe this little thing down here. Uh, I'll just record that on the phone so you can see that. So you can see here if I put my foot on the brake, I can now swipe this little car down and that will put the car into reverse or we can swipe it back up to go into drive, which is quite cool. It's actually not as complicated as you would think. Uh, you'll get used to that within a second. It's not as worrying as I thought. The indicators are the main thing. There's a lot of roundabouts around here. So let's go and test that out now. Let's go. Now the Tesla is always a quiet car, but this already, even though I'm not really moving very far, let's, uh, let's get going, is so much quieter. I just can't hear any traffic noise around me at all. Uh, bearing in mind the motorway is right there. Uh, the other thing I'm interested in seeing is how smooth the new suspension is. I'm going to go over this little pothole here. Nice, nice. The heat steering wheel is kicking. 
working on, the chairs are heating up. So I've got a few runabouts here, so this is my first go. Let's go. So, tap the little button there. I'm gonna go around this and just come off. There. So this goes round. What I'm worried about is in the UK, when we spin the steering wheel, we might need to come off here. And now, this indicator is now the wrong way round. So, I indicate the right way, yeah. So, that wasn't too bad, actually. It comes off by itself, like it does in all the Tesla Model 3s. I'm just gonna drive up here, spin back around. then uh, what I'll do is I'll take out the motorway so we can really test out how much quieter this car is. I'm just going to turn the heat steering wheel off. It's getting a little bit hot now. So, oh, reverse. Swipe down, run reverse. That's pretty easy. Stop the car. And then I'm in to drive. One thing uh, I've noticed here is that we do have the high fidelity parking. I haven't been that impressed with that so far, but of course this cap, this car has the new upgraded cameras, so maybe it's a lot better in this car. We'll test that out in a bit. But again, this is just my first impressions. This is not going to be a full review. Uh, I've got the car for four full days. So, um, so let's go left here. The only thing I would say about the indicators first off is that there's still that kind of learning phase. You know, I'm still thinking in my mind that I need to press down here uh, when actually all I need to do is tap this. I think it's not so far, I think as, as soon as you get used to it, it probably won't be a problem. I think because the Tesla cleverly turns off the indicators, that certainly helps a little bit, but that is one of my major, major concerns. I just think when you're uh, going through Manchester, London, places like that, where you have to go through multiple roundabouts, and at the point where you want to come off the roundabout, your steering wheel is all the way around, it could be a little bit tricky, but, uh, but let's see. There's a lot of speed bumps here. Okay. Turn off heated steering wheel. Okay, that's worked perfectly fine. The other thing as well, I had to ask Kirsty about the autopilot because we have no stalks. I haven't watched any videos. I purposely tried to not watch as many videos uh, as I can. I've watched a couple. I just wanted to be in here fresh and see, you know, for the first time, if you're a user, maybe you haven't even had a Tesla before, how hard is it coming into this kind of car when there are no stalks, there are no indicators? Uh, so I want to kind of answer that in the full review. As a current Model 3 owner, what's it like? As a brand new to EV person, what's it like? So that was strange. The car didn't seem to slow down there with regen. So I'm just going to make sure that pedals and steering, we have, uh, well, went to indicate there. I'm just going to pull over here. I'm just going to make sure that we have regen on. That is in park. Okay, so I cannot see anywhere at the moment how to change the braking regen. I'm pretty sure my, my car, it's here. It's in the pedals and steering. But it's not in charging. It's not in autopilot. It's not in locks. Lights, obviously. Display, no. Trips, navigation, safety. It's not in there. So that's an that's an odd one. We don't seem to have it there. So uh, yeah, the car just seemed to, to not really slow down much. I'll have to check with Kirsty about that one. But anyway, let's continue the journey. I'll put it into park. Uh, uh, sorry, put the accelerated down. See, now I'm, I've turned the steering wheel and I wanted to indicate right. But now my indicators are down here. So I have to kind of look to see where they are. I'm going to put the rear demister on as well. Let's put that there. Heat seats, I'm gonna turn that off at the moment. Uh, let's go. I say this is the uh, the standard range. Now it goes 318 miles, which for 39,000 pounds, I, I do think Tesla has hit the, the nail on the head here with a, a quality car that can now get you up and down the country. Uh, still an expensive car, but compared to other EVs, I just, I still can't see how, on paper at least, this one can be beat. I think uh, I'm near a supercharger here, so I think I'm gonna make a few of the other Tesla owners a little bit jealous with uh, having the, the new Highland 3 model. See so if I, okay, regen is working. It seemed just a little bit, a little bit damper than mine. Uh, another thing I've noticed as well, is we now have the blind spot indicator here on the right. 
I was looking then to see if I could maybe uh, go right here. There is a car next to me, I can see that, but we now have this little red light here in the right-hand corner of, uh, sorry, not right-hand corner. It's kind of in this, I think there's a speaker grill here in the, on the side of the car. And uh, so that's Andy, I really do like that's there now. Rush hour now. Again, I have to keep looking down at this indicator, which at the moment I'm, I'm not, I'm not loving. Maybe you'll just get used to that, you know, when you know where it is, uh, it'll become, become sort of like a autopilot. You'll just do it without thinking. Let me see. See, now the indicator is over to my right. I, I don't know. Okay, going up a hill, but let's give it some money. Nice. So still that instant acceleration that Absolutely love. What was this? Something's pinging at me there. I'm not sure what that was. It wasn't the car on my uh, right side. I'm just going to hit over again. So now we are doing 60 miles an hour. I'm going to put autopilot on first. So uh, let's double tap that. speed limit sign here on the steering wheel. I thought that was all autopilot, um, but it is the, the right scroll wheel. You press it in once uh, for cruise control, and then you double tap it for autopilot. So I'm just gonna untap that. Yeah, and we've gone back to normal driving. So that's okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. Because that was one thing I was worried about. You know when you're driving on my way, what do you do? I actually think I prefer this method. Actually, it's uh, a little bit easier. I thought, I thought Sometimes someone just trying to cut me up there. So the Tesla didn't actually freak out there where mine normally would. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's turn this on. So double tap this. We're now in autopilot. Seven different cars distance. We are six away. And uh, that means now I can talk to you a little bit about the sound of the car. How, how much quieter is this? It's... It's definitely a little bit quieter than mine. I think, uh, if I'm honest, it's, it's not maybe as quiet as I thought it would be. Because mine's not too bad, to be honest. But as I say, I think Tesla say it's 30% quieter. Probably, <laughs> probably about true from this non-scientific test. Um, let's just go a bit quicker here. Um, now, let's get to take the car up to 70. Yeah, I actually think maybe at higher speeds, is a little bit quieter than my car, which is always a good thing. My car was always quiet anyway, it still is quiet, but this just adds a, you know, a little bit more uh, dampening in there, which is it's perfect, it's what we want. It just makes the car feel much more high quality. It means you can sort of listen to your music. I'll get the music on in a bit. Obviously I can't do it for the video to, to YouTube reasons, but it's on autopilot again. Okay, we're on autopilot. That's working perfectly fine. And yeah, the car is, nice and quiet. The suspension feels nice and soft. Again, it's not its not like a huge jump, I would say so far from my Tesla Model 3, but it's a nice jump. It's, it's you know, if you are looking to upgrade or if you haven't owned a Tesla Model 3 before, this is just makes it even nicer than it already was. And it was already up there with my favorite car of all time that I've owned. So um, yeah, it's just, just made it a little bit nicer. What we're gonna do at the moment is come off the motorway and then we'll try maybe a little bit of reversing and stuff like that. And, uh, and then I'll leave you guys to it because I wanna leave everything on my full review coming very, very soon. So that's a first look at the brand new Tesla Model 3. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try and include the answer in the full review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that next full review video in the next week or so. See you there.